Hello and welcome to the vlog. You say good morning. Hello, hopster. It's morning. <laughs> uh, he's feeling a lot better. It was about 36 hours where he was kind of down after his uh, vaccine, but uh, he's doing good. So uh, we are getting ready to head out the door. Alicia has Hudson ready. Hey, are you surprised by that? Did you not know we were leaving? You're in your wheelchair. <laughs> So she has a neuro appointment where they're going to make an adjustment on her VNS. So uh, we're going to be there like for no time at all. We go in. I mean, we'll probably sit in the waiting room longer than we'll be in the appointment. They put the machine on, bang, 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 changes it up, and uh, and then we're out of there. But then we have like an hour and a half, I think, between those appointments. Oh. Yeah, and, and then we're going to have an endo appointment at a different location near where we're going. And we have her prescription that we've got to pick up while we're there. So, yeah, I'll probably forget one of those things. <laughs> so, what um, happens if Alicia doesn't mind you? Reminded? Well, that will be forgotten. Yeah, it'll be totally forgotten. <laughs> and then you wouldn't say hi to Alicia again. Right. So, outside there, you see it was, uh, well, okay. Uh, it's like 53, 54 degrees right now. I think it's going to be a high of 70. What was it? Three days ago, we had like 12 inches of snow. <laughs> it's insane. So I am uh, out of practice for vlogging. So I do not have a van cam charged up for us. So I uh, don't know that we'll have much van cam uh, footage. But we are headed out the door. And uh, I got to make sure I have a mask. Yeah, see that? Alicia was just saying, she's like, look at that. Your front yard, completely covered in snow, and it is gorgeous out. I mean, I don't even need this jacket, honestly, but, you know, when it's winter, it's a habit. And gosh, I guess an example of how the weather changes around here is today. So who knows? Maybe later on it'll be 17 degrees. <laughs> I adjusted this in. It falls against the door sometimes because of the gas. I did that yesterday, and for some reason, so to be ready for today, for some reason it popped itself against the door. So I don't know why I'm getting out. I need to go up here anyway. <laughs> also, as soon as I shut off the camera, Hudson started smiling really big and let out this cute squeal as we came down the ramp. You know when the camera turns off for some reason, don't you? And 10 years later, the lift is deployed. <laughs> uh, we can call this the van cam, but I would call it the uh, the, the, the wobbly cam. Oh, no. <laughs> I got a little uh, phone holder that attaches to the windshield, and so it's, it's kind of on the end of an arm, so it's going to wobble, but... Uh, one thing I did not mention, uh, because I haven't been vlogging, but uh, two weeks ago we had an appointment and to uh, get Hudson a new wheelchair because it's now time. I believe when, when I started this vlog, in the early part of the vlogs, when we moved to this house five years ago, now a little over five years ago, uh, was when Hudson got her new wheelchair. I think it was February of that year. So that was uh, that was a whole episode. Well, now it's been five years. She's basically outgrown her current wheelchair. Ugh, phone calls. So that was actually the pharmacy, which they just called me like 30 minutes ago. I had called in Hudson's prescription over the weekend, and so they called me to verify that I was having it mailed, but I had just talked to somebody 30 minutes ago and went over this, that whole thing and said, no, I, I'm going to be at that location, picking it up at a little afternoon today. And I already told somebody else. So I don't know why you're calling me. Oh, okay. It wasn't in my notes. Okay. Bye. So anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. New wheelchair. So uh, for one thing, it's exciting that she's getting a new wheelchair, but also the new wheelchair is going to be able to have what they call an easy lock system. Her current wheelchair can't have it on it. So what that is, instead of these four tie downs that we have on the floor of the van and I have to like 
hook each one individually onto her chair and then try to tighten it with my fingers. And I tell you, I'm getting older. It's not fun crawling around her to clip her in and out. Well, this will be like just a slot in the floor and her wheelchair will click into it and then we hit a button and it will release. And so we'll just drive her in, click, hit a button, pull her right out. And so it should make our day a lot more efficient. However, uh, we're probably not gonna see that wheelchair until at least May. So, oh, really? Yeah. Probably. You never know. So I mean, yeah. sometimes things go faster, but uh, yeah. That's, we're, we're probably looking at May. Wildcats fan. Mm -hmm. didn't you? <coughs> you saw in that little vertical footage there that I had that um, she kind of had a reaction. That actually was, they hadn't done anything, so that was just her like jumping. But they um, said they were going to make it, the, the doctor last week said he was going to make it more powerful whenever it kicked on, like every 30 seconds or whatever. But when we got in there, they actually said it was just going to be more frequent. But she's like, having a little cough so we'll probably see that happen in a second huh? we're uh, by the way we're in the like the new the research tower they call it um part so if you look here it's a beautiful view of downtown and they've got like food service and stuff over there and we're just hanging out because our next appointment is not for an hour or 45 minutes from now so we're gonna hang here for about 30, and then we're going to drive over to the other spot. Hey, you're not having any reactions. That's good. Yeah? All right, and maybe we, she was doing coughing like every 25 seconds or so, but I think we're good. Are you good? Yeah? Everything's fine? Oh, good for her. Okay. That's got to feel good. Oh, another one? Okay. Any more? <laughs> we made it to our next appointment. We're about 10 minutes early. Yeah, we're 10 minutes early. So now we wait. I guess that's why they why they call it a waiting room, right, kid? What's that going on there? She's slobbering. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, we're in one of the pretty rooms. Uh, Look, downtown Kansas City. It's beautiful, right? Let's see. Last time she had the shot was June, so we're a little past due, but this will be her last shot of, I don't remember what it's called, but it's uh, it's like a, uh, keeps puberty at bay. <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to remember, because she had one and then it got switched to the other. I yeah. I don't know what the new one was. <laughs> anyway, this, but this will be her last of that because they stop when they turn 12, so... Um, so she, she turns 12 this year, so not, not going to continue with that. That first appointment was fine. Then we sat for about 20 minutes, uh, as you saw, and then we got here and I feel like we sat for 20 minutes until finally somebody came in and now we've been sitting here for another 20, uh, but they're finally going to come in and give her the shot. So, yeah. Then we got to do labs. And then we've got to try to get labs before we leave. So. And meds. So at least, hey, it's not over. right? But at least we get to look at this while we're here. So, and the, I mean, it's, I just, I don't know. I, I, I can't hate being stuck in this room. <laughs> uh, flashing forward about a week and I'm editing this video and realized that I didn't record anything else that day. And it was because we got very frustrated that day. We just, we were waiting forever for all of these appointments. And then we went down to get labs. By the way, I'm out here letting the dogs out for the afternoon. We went down to get labs and we, we waited for over 30 minutes just waiting to get into labs. And then, um, the person, they're always so overconfident. The lab technician could not um, get a vein for Hudson. So she gave it two tries. She said, should I give it a third try? I can only give it one more try. I said, uh, no, that's okay. We'll go a different day. And so we did. We went a different day and got labs and and uh, we went to a different location and, and chose our favorite 
lab technician, phlebotomist, whatever, from a different Children's Mercy location. I think we're just going to go there from now on whenever we need labs. But we didn't know we were getting them that day. But anyway, so I did not close out the vlog. So this is me closing out the vlog and letting you know that to the world, you may be one person, but to one person, you may be the world. So go be somebody's world. It is a beautiful day. Thanks for watching. I hope it's nice where you are. It's supposed to be beautiful uh, for a few. Actually, I take that back. In two days, it's supposed to snow, and then it's going to go back to being beautiful again. Kansas is bipolar. <laughs> Bye.